Hello, people. Hello. Once again, you with your boy, DC Freeson. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Let me give y'all a look of uh, today's weather. Pretty fucking gloomy, right? Pretty fucking gloomy. Spooky and scary. So I'm going to take advantage of, of today's weather. And do something that I am absolutely terrified to do. I'm going to go in the woods on y'all motherfuckers. I'm going go in the woods. <sighs> woods that I was scared of when I was a child. But not only am I going in the woods, y'all. I'm going in the woods while it's dust dark. Nervous. Nervous. I got um I got a flashlight because I know I'm gonna need extra light. I got I got my flashlight and uh I got that thing. <laughs> you know I got that thing. Yeah, yeah. Well anyway. It's still on lockdown, but she opened up the locked down a little bit today she opened up up north where you can travel up north to the upper peninsula in michigan in michigan you know that upper part of michigan you know ain't nothing up there but cabins and shit you know i never in my life been up there yet i heard it's beautiful that's what i heard but um yeah i'm headed up that way y'all i'm headed up up the yonder. Heading up the fucking yonder. I should have went by that way to see if that car was still there. I wanted to keep my eye on that car. Where well, I thought the dead body was. Jesus. I wanted to peep out that car. But you know, there's somebody sleeping over there. So I don't want to be past for and disturbing. But, um, yep, yeah, that's my intro, y'all. I'm not going to log y'all up with a bunch of conversations. I'm going to the woods over there by my old middle school. Um, so let's get on the way. Let's get it. All right, y'all. I just pulled up to this location. My old middle school, which is abandoned. I just walked up to the door, and I swear to God, I heard talking. I'm freaking out because I never in my life experienced some shit like this in my life. I heard talking. I'm showing you that because that's where I heard talking from, from that door. Uh, it's like somebody talking and echoing through the auditorium. It's raining right now and I'm, I'm fucking wet. I was going live because I was scared as shit. There was only two people on my live. But if something happened again, I'm going on my live again. I'm going off into the woods and behind this fucking haunted building. And I'm taking y'all with me. I'm recording the whole motherfucking thing. I'm scared as shit. So God bless me. This is DC freezing, trying to bring some more of that funky ass content. But Jesus Christ, I don't think I can do this tonight, y'all. I really don't. This shit is just, one, the rain has picked up on me. And two, I did not expect to hear what I heard. This ain't supposed to be hunted. This supposed to be like a, a fucking middle school. Ain't no way this shit supposed to be hunted. You know what I'm saying? This is some spooky shit for me. Look at this fucking chair just sitting there. This is spooky as shit. Look at this. It's a fucking playground back here that's abandoned. Hold on, y'all. I was talking on my live. And my live went when the the the, what, I've, what I've just experienced here, just walking around the building, probably it's going to, this little bit of shit is going to change my life. Because never I never in my life wanted to experience this shit. But what I have experienced and what I've just saw just walking around the building, 
is fucking me up right now. It has fucked me up. I walked up to this abandoned building. It's my middle school. I would say it's my alma mater because I didn't graduate. No, I didn't graduate from this bitch. I ended up transferring. And when I was here, I was skipping all the time. Look. You can't see. When I walked up to the building, it's a set of doors. Now, I'm, I look like I'm sweating and, 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 and it's raining out. I wanted to shoot this video on a gloomy day. I was going to go in the woods, around the building and in the woods because it's a rainy day. But I, I didn't make it. My live kept dropping. I, I could only go live for a couple of minutes. Let me get the fuck out of here. Let me get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, y'all, but my, my adrenaline is pumping because what I, Jesus, I'm so scared. Driving away from this bitch make me even scareder. It's just, it's, it's the, it's the sensation like somebody's chasing you. It feel like somebody's chasing you. You know that feeling when there's somebody behind you? It's just, it's the feeling of a presence. Like somebody's chasing you. I'm going to have to conclude this video for right here, y'all. I'm going to get back at it. Love y'all. Thank y'all for watching this little bit. I got a little more clips for this, but I'm going to end this little clip right now. This had me thinking. And y'all know something else I was wondering. Like with this Aubrey case with the jogger that was attacked by the white man and all this kind of shit that's going on out here and everybody telling everybody to fucking pack a gun. Packing a gun, that's good for self-defense. I understand why they're saying that. Understand, understand. But why not pack a fucking camera? A cell phone. A cell phone, just like with the incident I was going through. With this incident with my cell phone, I could just go live. And put the whole incident and share it with the world at that moment. If it was two white men running up to me with a, with a gun... If I don't have a gun, the best thing that I can have on me is my social media. YouTube got a live. Instagram got a live, I believe. Facebook got a live. Go fucking live, y'all. Go live. Go live. If you're having an incident, the best thing to do is to turn on your live and share it with the world if there's an incident. Um just a thought in my head like with this video it's so difficult for me to shoot tonight it's just raining too hard but like I said if something was gonna go wrong at the at the top at the most I had five people on my live at, at, at the most and at that at least that's that's something I had five people that could have helped me in a situation where if I was being attacked by something all I gotta do is shoot out where my last location is and what's going on at least if something go home where I come up missing, at least they got a starting point to look for me. Or, you know, some type of footage of some, some shit that, that's going on. Why I look so high or look so high? But um, I'm getting this, this uh, video ready, y'all. I'm getting some more footage. Just a snip bit. Let's get back to it. Got the flash working. Uh, I was going to go and record night two at um Murphy Middle School that is abandoned but ultimately it came down to fuck that shit I'm by myself that place is way too spooky I can't handle it I just simply cannot handle going over to that area so I'm not going to do that area right now I'm going to do that shit when I got somebody with me who who can come with me and do this shit with me I can't do it at night it's just look how fucking spooky this place is man and I mean it's not, it's not just the school this this goddamn spooky. It's this area, period. It's this area, period. It's just absolutely fucking spooky. 
This is some spooky shit. So, walking back at night, I actually got up to the school, got in the lot of that motherfucker, and almost fainted. Almost had a, a asthma attack. I mean, it's just absolutely spooky. I can't do it. It's just, it's too fucking spooky. This place here is a bandit, and it looks spooky as shit too. Look at this. It's at the point where I know this place is haunted. Because when I was over there, I was hearing too much noise. Too much noise. It was haunted noise. I saw orbs. Just too much shit going on, man. I know y'all can't see me. It's kind of dark. It's a little dark, but... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over where I saw a dead body when I was younger. I'm gonna go over to that area and uh, film over there. Oh, that's spooky too, but I think I can handle that then in that area going into the woods and shit like I thought I was gonna do. Can't handle that. Can't handle that shit. That's just too much. So, no. Can't do that. Oh, boy. Oh, y'all. Tell y'all. Man, let me get back at y'all. This might have to just turn out being a vlog, y'all. Instead of a hunting video. Going over there. It's too goddamn spooky. I'm uh maybe I can go there dust dust dark. But going over there pitch black at night with a flashlight, no assistance, nobody with me. Uh-uh. Nah, uh-uh. Nah, uh, uh. no, y'all. No. Y'all can see I bitched out. Say what you want, but I'm not doing it. Plus, when I pulled back there, the amount of noise that I was hearing back there was ridiculous. It's like the dark was playing with my fear. I heard, I heard, I heard rocks that were on the ground rattling around like somebody was walking on top of them you can say what you want you can say it was the wind you can say whatever you want but i'm what i heard and what my what my mind believed that it was is probably two different things than what you think that it actually was that's a hooker look at a hooker it's a hooker this area is notorious for hookers and if she wasn't a hooker then God bless her mama. Y'all, my heart's still beating. As I'm riding away, I feel good. That's how I know I made the right decision, because I'm feeling good about the decision I made not to do it. Let me turn this window down. I mean, I had my windows up. I couldn't do it. I, I wouldn't have been able to, I couldn't do it. I would have, if I'd have got out this car and went over to that building and tried to make a video, I would either end up fainting Passing the fuck out, or Eddie Monster would have actually got me. Those are my two options, I believe, would occur if I took my ass over there. Because even leaving, I had, I couldn't even catch up with my breathing and shit when I was leaving. I thought that it was, uh, 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 y'all, that was some scary ass shit. I mean, look how dark it is out here. I'm trying to bring y'all some scary content, you know what I'm saying? Some shit that's gonna spook your liver. 
that's gonna be like, no, this nigga ain't. I mean, look at look at fucking look at look at this shit. Look, look look how fucking dark. I mean, this area is dark. This is a very bad neighborhood where I'm in. This is the Brightmore area in Detroit. Everybody who live in Detroit know Brightmore ain't playing. Fuck that eight mile shit that you out of towners be looking at Eminem as. Eight mile ain't shit. Eight mile is where the, just like Eminem, is where the scary little white boys who wanna rap go. That's where they be at on fucking eight mile. Ain't shit popping on eight mile. That's the motherfucking red line that divides the city from the from the burbs in, in the hood. That's where eight mile is. You know what I'm saying? You do got the trailer parks over there where a lot of uh, a lot of the white people, a lot of uh, low income white people live over in the trailer parks. And white people, I'm not talking about you because I'm talking about you as much as I'm talking about black people in bright mode. So get out y'all feelings. I mean, I'm just telling y'all the truth. A lot of people come out of town. Is it eight mile? Where, can you show me where eight mile is? It's a bad area. Is it eight mile? Eight mile ain't bad. Shit, I drive over to Eight Mile to get Popeye's chicken and all that shit all the time because I know I can get some good service over there. Eight Mile ain't bad. It's full of stripper, stripper um, buildings and shit. That's where you go to get the, the buildings, gentlemen's clubs, all down Eight Mile. But over here in the bright mode, man, these motherfuckers over here ain't playing. I'm surprised ain't nobody hit me upside my fucking head and took this phone. And I'm talking about ghosts when I said that. The fucking ghosts will rob you over here. Man, I'm dog. When I when I pulled up back there, y'all, I should have been recording the whole time I was back there, but I went live. And every time I go live, I lose footage on this YouTube thing to put up on YouTube because you know I'm I, I be live is you know people gonna actually be there in the moment, right there in the moment. But I went live this time with nobody on there but my brother, but nobody on my live this time. So I really much wasted my time. Not, not saying I didn't enjoy my brother's support, but my brother supported me on everything. You know, I was trying to get more people on there. If I actually would have got more people dropping in my life, I would have I'd have got my ass out the car. The outcome wouldn't have changed. I still would have either, either passed out or Eddie Monster would have ended up getting my ass. Outcome would have stayed the same, but I would have got out the car if there was more people on my life. I mean, look how absolutely dark absolutely dark y'all so that's what i'm saying this this video is gonna have to end up being a vlog it, it was supposed to be a hundred video y'all i couldn't do it i ain't got support even though i got that thing on my hip i can't kill a ghost i can't kill any monster and when i pulled up back there i heard movement man and then i seen the orb i seen the orb come out the bushes I, it, it could have been a light bug you know them bugs that that uh fly around and the ass lit up it could have been a light bulb could have been it could have been won't won't deny i'm not trying to make everything I, I did with some supernatural shit if it can be debunked and it was something else that is fine with me but i saw orb come out the fucking bushes on top of seeing an orb i heard movement on top of seeing a movement i saw a shadow inside the the school building i saw a shadow move now the reason why i didn't freak out, freak out on that shadow is because that window was catching headlights that was coming from the corner, the light, and the cars that was driving by. That window was catching the headlights. So I kind of charged it up. That, that could be uh, um, headlights. But total fear, y'all. Total fucking fear. I'm just... But what I'm going to do is there's a place that was... um. Where me, where me and my friend was riding and we found the dead body. Now, when we were children, we used to ride by this place all the time. You know, just, just, just to, uh, it was the, it was the location. It was the, it was the route that we would take to get to those, those nice neighborhood and, and super Kmart all them big retails now we were kids and we were riding bikes so to ride up to super kmart for us was a big deal because you know we were doing that on our own and we're not with parents around so that was a big deal to us and you know what i mean you know what i might do 
I might drive over there to that area tonight and film over there and try to get some footage on that. Damn, I would have had to take that street. So if I do that, I'm tagging on to this video. It's already nine minutes long. So let's go over there and let's 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 look around over there, y'all. Let's see what's up. Between West Elder Drive and Inner right, Trail, between Stark and Newburgh Roads. Um, coming up to the street now. I mean, all these play it, tonight. It, it must be a full moon tonight or something. This is absolutely spooky out here tonight. There is a there is like an extra oomph in this darkness tonight. Um, street even in this area, the street lights are on, but it's still just spooky as shit. I'm trying to hit the area. Where am I at? Glendale, okay. Now the area I'm trying to hit is right around this corner. This is where we used to ride our bikes. And one day we were riding our bikes down this area and we came across a rug. And in this rug that was rolled up was human feet. Somebody was rolled up in a rug and their feet were showing out the rug. As kids, we, of course, we freaked out and we um look at that block is no end to it we freaked out and we ran off scared it and shit i mean this used to be my stomping ground this 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 area was my stomping ground when i was a kid it was it's miles to where the super kmart and stuff was so as kids we'd ride our bikes up damn all this area is blocked off where is uh trying to get to where it's going to this back street and this back street is body central is this closed off oh, looks like it is it's body central no oh, i don't think it was there was it's a lot of bodies thrown back here in this area i mean look how dark it is y'all it does not look like people are social distancing over here Dog, I'm at the school. I didn't even know I was over here at the school. What's going on over here? It looks like it's a party over there. I should go over there and do a Takashi 69 and tell them you are not social distancing. Man, this car that behind me has been following me. I bend this corner right here. This car behind me. I don't know if you can't see it. But if I bend this car, this corner right here. And this fucking car is still on my ass. It's going to be some problems in this bitch. Here. Go ahead and drive around, my nigga. This fucking car. You're fucking following me. If I pulled over and that car was still following me, it was going to be some problems. All right, y'all. Now, here. We are here. This is where they dump bodies at y'all this is where they dump bodies it's a train right there and this place is notorious for them dumping bodies over here now let me let me show you let me show you the real shit this place notor is notorious for it y'all this is where they have lots and lots of body counts over here. Now, this is actually a train. This is actually a train, y'all. See? This is a train. But this is where a lot of bodies have been dumped. A lot of dead people over in this area. A fucking train. Look at this shit. I mean, you can practically climb this motherfucker. 
and it goes all the way down all the way down and the guy that we saw with the rug on him who was killed and rolled up at the rug is all the way at that corner it's all the way down there I'm gonna go down there and show that to you but I want to show you how close this train actually be look at that I don't know if you can see it it is a child shoe people are hit here all the time with these trains they're they're hit all the time here it's just fascinating how that I've always liked trains but as a child I heard about people getting hit and killed over here so many times and this is not the greatest of areas either it's very bad very bad over here I wonder what is over it's over the train here and there's a lot of creatures creatures that's out in this area often that do attack that do attack this is not a safe place y'all not a safe place at all I would climb my ass up on one of these platforms to actually get a good look why not right I don't think I can put my feet up on this fucking thing though This step is so high. Putting my feet up on this fucking thing and climbing on. But I can definitely come in this much, this area here. Give you a heads up on what I'm seeing. This is crazy, right? crazy all right y'all i'm gonna um show y'all where the dead body was where i actually saw him let's go there now you guys the reason why i stopped over here is because the absolute smell it actually smelled like it's another body over here I mean, the smell is overwhelming. The smell here, you guys, is this smell like something, something is dead. You can't barely hear me because I'm, I'm off of a freeway. Oh my God, something smells dead. I see something over here, y'all. Let's see if it's a, another fucking body. Let's see if it's a fucking body. Oh God, it smells horrible. Oh, the fuck is that smell? I don't see no body over here. But this is a popular dumping area. People have dumped bodies over here. Oh my God, it stinks. I do not see a body. Is that a body over there? I cannot fucking tell. I can't tell what it is I'm seeing. It's absolutely pitch black. We're right off the train tracks. Oh my God, is that what I'm smelling? Where it could be a body anywhere over here. It smells absolutely horrible. It smells horrible. This isn't where 
I saw the body the first time. It's actually right behind me. It's train tracks here. See, these are train tracks right here. Train tracks over here, see? Oh my God, it stinks over here. Getting a bad feeling. So, I don't know. Oh, whew. God damn. It almost like a skunky smell, but uh, if you ever left, Jesus. If you ever left meat out too long, that's exactly what this smell is. Like somebody left meat out too long. I got a flashlight, but it's just not doing no justice to this. Uh, and the light is so bright that it blinds me. But let me show you where we saw the dead body at. where we saw the dead body and hopefully it's not another one there today right down there these are stairs if you can tell these are stairs and we used to actually ride our bikes down these stairs and the dead body was tossed right there in that corner. These are concrete stairs right off to the freeway. And the body was right here, wrapped in um, a rug and tossed over here. And that's where we used to ride our bikes down that area over there. So it was right here. Now I gotta climb up these fucking stairs. Climb up these stairs and get the fuck out of here. Whew. Well, that's it, y'all. Ah, it's not as scary as the school maybe to you but it's fucking terrifying this building is empty and i'm in a really bad area where anything can go wrong anything really bad area Alright y'all, this vlog has not produced the scary content that I really wanted to share with you guys, but this is my vlog of my city nonetheless. And I'm going to start bringing you content that's called Detroit Dead Files. This may be the first episode of Detroit Dead Files where I'm going to go to known areas where someone was murdered and dumped and try to bring you that content. Now I'm getting ready for October y'all. I'm going to have the Octoberthon. I am an absolute 
horror movie fanatic. I love horror movies. Cannot get enough of them. I love horror movies. And of course, October is my most favorite month. Because I love all the scary shit. Hot honey houses and all. I love all that shit. And I'm getting ready to bring y'all some real scary shit in October. I'm talking about damn near every day I'm going to be out here. On some spooky shit. And I will promise you. I will conquer. Conquer. Murphy Middle School. And I will bring someone with me. Because not only am I going to explore the school. I'm going to go in the back of the woods. And the back of the woods is important because we used to skip and all that kind of shit there. But I'll share that with y'all. Thank y'all for coming out with me. I'm not going to let this outro be long. Because I'm out in this video. Again, I got to This is my begging part. So if you watched this far, don't skip on because this is the begging part. You watched the video, so you might as well like and subscribe. You might as well. Like, subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel, y'all. I'm trying to grow it, give y'all decent content. I'm out here like a baron, sweating like a slave, shooting content every day, and I'm not getting paid for it. I'm not monetized on YouTube like these big YouTubers are. I'm not monetized at all. I'm scraping pennies, trying to get gas money, trying to do equipment to do these videos anyway what I'm trying to say is whatever support y'all can give me I'd love it even if you just comment on a video or just hit the, the thumbs up sorry I'm driving on the freeway the window down or just hit the thumbs up I'd appreciate it I love you all for watching I love you all even if you didn't watch let's share it to the world y'all love and peace Bye, y'all.